We get a little antsy waiting for our ramen to finish cooking in the microwave, so it's no surprise we can't wait to find out how humans will evolve in the future. Life expectancy of humans is at an all-time high, and we are evolving to live even longer. Whether because our planet is changing or because we've relocated to space, humans will soon need to adapt to major life changes. Will it be technology or biology that shapes the next stage of human development? Find out by watching 10 Ways Humans Will Evolve to Live Longer. It may not help us live longer, but clicking on the subscribe button will make sure you stay up to date with the hub. Evolution is a slow process, so get a sneak peek by watching our videos. Transhumanism Natural selection is the key to evolution, but the secret to immortality may rely on a very unnatural selection. Our capabilities are limited by our biology until technology steps in. Imagine being able to upload your personality into a computer faster than you upload your vacation photos onto Facebook. It might sound a little too ghost in the shell, but some scientists believe it's only a matter of time. Your brain could be scanned atom by atom and everything that makes you, well, you, transferred onto a computer. In addition to living forever, you would also have the ability to travel at the speed of light, think faster, and not rely on food and water. It's possible you could even download yourself into a robot chasis if you miss the whole inhabiting a body thing. Of course, this raises many ethical implications, such as how evil is it to upload yourself into an animatronic Chuck E. Cheese for the purpose of strengthening small children? Not that I would ever do anything like that. Brain rewiring. Human evolution so far can be summed up as brains over brawn. What we lack in speed, strength, and cool leather bat wings, we more than make up for with our advanced intelligence. So it makes sense that our brains evolving would be the key to us living longer in the future. And just as humans have shaped the advancement of technology, we can't help but be shaped by it ourselves. Having access to all the world's information just by pressing a few buttons may be changing how our brains work. Already, people who were born with access to computers show better snap decision-making skills and superior sensory input juggling than people who weren't. You merely adopted the hub. I was born into it, molded by it. Scientists believe that in addition to superior decision-making and enhanced visual attention, our brains will evolve to focus on remembering how to acquire information rather than the information itself. So because we aren't flexing our memory muscles, they'll weaken and become less important in future generations. Resistant to radiation. Humans are so weak against radiation that we wear a lead vest when getting our teeth x-rayed. Kind of pathetic when you realize that the microscopic tardigrade is almost immune to radiation. These little guys have a protein in their DNA that shields it from radiation damage. But of course, we aren't just mentioning this to make you feel bad about being inferior to these eight-legged cuties, even though you should. Scientists believe that this protein may be the secret to developing a way to genetically modify humans to resist radiation. Being able to resist radiation will be essential when we attempt to colonize other planets. There's no point in sitting through a six-month flight to Mars if you're only going to die from cancer once you get there. Children born from the people with the gene will also be resistant to radiation. Growing taller. When we think of the dangers of space travel, we think of asteroids, ship malfunctioning, and possibly hostile life forms. Other dangers are less conspicuous, but can be just as debilitating. Astronauts who spend a lot of time away from Earth's gravity suffer a loss of bone mass that weakens their bones significantly. However, children born on Mars or on similar planets would be taller than they would be on Earth. Mars has less gravity, and therefore the cartilage that holds our spinal vertebrae together is less compacted. This added height would come without bone issues sustained by their parents or grandparents as they travel to the planet. Disease resistant. We hear a lot of horror stories about how overprescribing antibiotics is creating super bacteria. But while that is a real concern, it turns out our bodies are also getting better at fighting diseases on their own. People whose ancestors are from European cities are much more likely to be resistant to smallpox. And people whose ancestors are from sub-Saharan Africa are more likely to be resistant to malaria. So it stands to reason that as we evolve and our DNA continues to mix with others, that soon more of us will be resistant to different diseases. Our bodies evolving to better protect us from disease, coupled with medical advancements, could be an incredible combination, allowing us to live far longer. Selective hearing. Have you ever wished life came with an unfollow option? Just click it and be able to tune out your coworker talking about their jamberry party that you just have to come to. It turns out we have this ability already and it's only going to get better with time. It's called the cocktail party effect. And no, it's not when you drink too much and end up texting your ex. We don't have an excuse for that one. It describes the phenomena that occurs when you're at a party and are able to zero in on one interesting conversation and block out all the others surrounding you. It's believed that over time, this ability will become even more advanced as we gain the ability to filter out unwanted sounds. 
will be healthier due to being less stressed out by unwanted conversations and information, and being stress-free makes it more likely we'll find a mate to pass on our genes with. Smaller brains. Wait, so people are going to get dumber? Of course not. Maybe if your brain was a little smaller, you'd know that. The average brain of a human male has decreased in volume from 1,500 cubic centimeters to 1,350 cubic centimeters over the past 20,000 years. If our brains continue shrinking at this rate, we'll soon be looking at brains the size of Homo erectus, who had a brain of 1,100 cubic centimeters. Big brains don't denote intelligence, they are just reflections of the size of the body that carries them around. In fact, some scientists believe that as our brains shrink, they're becoming more efficient. As we evolve, we will become quicker, more agile thinkers. Our brains make intensive demands on our energy, using 20% of the calories we take in. The bigger the brain, the more energy it needs. Ideally, our brains will evolve to the point where we are getting maximum intelligence and efficiency for minimum energy requirements. Darker skin. Humans come in a wide variety of colors, but future generations may end up evolving far darker than us. Skin color varies based on the geographic distribution of ultraviolet radiation. People who live closer to the equator, where there is more UV, have darker skin than people that don't get as much. The pigment melanin is responsible for determining how dark our skin appears. The more melanin in our bodies, the darker our skin appears. As we discussed earlier, space is full of radiation, and having more melanin helps protect us from it. In fact, around Chernobyl, there are radiotrophic fungi that use melanin similarly to how plants use their photosynthetic pigments. So it stands to reason that as humans are exposed to more ultraviolet radiation, our skin will evolve to become darker in order to survive. Better swimmers. With climate change a very real threat, humans may evolve in ways conducive to surviving in an aquatic environment. This includes our fingers and toes becoming longer and webbed to make swimming easier. Paleoanthropologist Dr. Matthew Skinner further theorizes that our bodies may also evolve to hold on to more fat. This will keep us insulated as we traverse cold waters. Evolving gills may not be realistic, but artificial gills could certainly be a possibility if we end up spending lots of time underwater. It'll certainly make singing jaunty sea shanties while submerged much easier. Reliance on these artificial gills will cause our lung capacity to diminish, resulting in smaller lungs and thus a smaller ribcage. It turns out, Ariel's enviable waistline may be within our grasp after all. Car accident proof. Everyone knows that the most exciting thing about the future is the flying cars. But with transportation technology developing rapidly, it might be dangerous at first. The Transport Accident Commission of Australia has designed a man impervious to car accidents. His name is Graham, and he could be a glimpse at how humans may evolve to survive collisions. Graham's skull is bigger and contains more fluid and ligaments than yours. This would protect his brain in the event of a collision. His flat face would prevent injuries to his nose and sinuses. His ribs are designed to accommodate internal sacs that act as airbags, protecting his vital organs. Unlike other male nipples, Graham's aren't merely decorative. They're designed to add further protection to his rib cage. It seems that whether we remain on Earth or relocate to other planets will be a major factor in our evolution. Which set of evolutionary upgrades would you rather sign up for? The basic Earth starter kit? or the Outer Space Expanded Edition. Tell us your ideal evolutionary build in the comments. Here at The Hub, we are always evolving in the search for new information. Thanks for being a part of the process. See you next time.